evening, I'm Donna Bush with your CIG TV News update for this Friday. On Thursday, some of government's top staff and those in the ministry responsible for landfills in the Cayman Islands visited the Georgetown landfill to see firsthand the way things operate at the facility. This after the second fire in two months had firefighters on the scene for several days working to out the flames that caused smoke to billow across much of central Georgetown. The group who toured the landfill on board a bus saw scrap metal materials that are recycled and mounds of trash. In an exclusive interview with Minister Osborne Bodden, he explains what plans government has to fix the landfill problems. It has now reached a point where it has become a really, really urgent situation. I, I know we have been looking at it for a long time, but there's been repeated studies, there have been repeated tenders, and everybody is frustrated. No, no more than me, who is the, a fairly new minister. Um, the recent fires have exaggerated the situation, made it, a, made it a lot more urgent, much more pressing. Um, we have, under the FFR, we have certain guidelines for major projects that we have to go through. One calls for a steering committee to be set up, for a business plan, business case to be put forward, and through the various processes, the various RFPs will be done. Again, starting tonight at 8 o'clock, only here on CIG TV, Minister Bodden speaks candidly about future plans for the Georgetown landfill. You won't want to miss that interview. Well, this week, committee members, volunteers, and all involved in making this year's National Heroes Day celebrations a success were thanked for their hard work. Her Excellency the Governor hosted an appreciation evening where everyone was thanked. It also provided the chance for those involved to mingle and enjoy what turned out to be a beautiful evening. National Heroes Day is celebrated every year in January. Well, celebrating our culture is what the National Museum and the Pirates Week office joined forces to do this week during the annual Lukia event, where hundreds of visitors and residents went. Uh, there was cultural festivities and lots of local food for everyone to enjoy. Organizers at the museum say uh, the day was an enjoyable one, especially for our cruise visitors. So it's definitely just a way for people who are coming off the ships and only have one day in Cayman to really experience everything that we have to offer here. So really it's just a big cultural festival and hopefully it's here, for, it's here for them to enjoy. And that ends this week's government news update here on CIG TV. Thanks for watching. Remember Radio K Man's Talk Today show. That's weekdays at 12.15 with Sterling Dwayne Ebanks. And you can watch the CIG TV news update rebroadcast throughout the weekend or go to our Facebook and YouTube pages. Again, thanks for watching. I'm Donna Bush wishing you a wonderful weekend.